2018 day one of the official Shea Bay hair growth challenge the one year long Shea Bay hair growth challenge so I know I have been counting down the days for this challenge to start because I've never um, embarked on anything like this before and it's definitely going to be a challenge but that's why I have the Facebook page I have my YouTube channel for anyone who joins the challenge to be able to encourage one another and post tips and feedback and just do whatever it takes to where we all make it to the finish line. And I don't want anyone to feel like you have to be perfect during this challenge. Just do your best, right? So let's say you just kind of slack off on the Shea Bay for a while or you have a setback. I don't want you to quit. I want you to keep going. Just say, tell yourself tomorrow I'm picking up as if it was day one. Or let's say you find out about this challenge, you know, in the middle of the summer. You can still join, right? I want everyone who stumbles upon this video, who stumbles upon the Hair Growth Challenge to join if you can and achieve some goals. So again, my goal is 24 inches between today, from today, until December 31st, 2018. Yes, that is a lot of hair. That is two feet. That's why the name of the Facebook page is Two Feet Fleek. Because when we get our two feet of hair, all of our hair is going to be on fleek. And if you reach for the stars, you'll be happy with the moon. So if we strive for 24 inches, which I'm hoping that's what we all get, then we'll be satisfied with progress. A lot of great progress. I wasn't going to officially do length check. Initially, I didn't plan to do that, but I guess I'm so excited. I decided to throw, dig out my uh, length check t-shirt, put it on, and then do a very, just very general length check so that on December 31st, 2018, I can actually have something visual to go back and compare it to. But 24 inches is a lot of hair. So you'll just probably see me pop into the camera and go, whoa, like I won't even need the shirt. I actually did straighten my hair. I, I blow dried my hair. I did a blowout, but I didn't want to use excessive heat. So I did not flat iron, but let me see if I can show you. I have about an inch, well, actually more than an inch, probably an inch and a half of hair that has no keratin treatment on it. So it's very, very uh, drawn in and you know, <laughs> Didn't blow out very well, but even still, I don't think an inch and a half is going to make a big difference. I mean, 24 inches, that's a lot of hair, right? Two feet of hair. So you won't need to um, nitpick over an inch or an inch here or an inch there. It's going to be obvious. So this is my hair to start. You can kind of get an idea of how it is. Okay. This is what it looks like all the way in the front. So it pulls down, I'm kind of big busted, <laughs> very big busted. So, but it comes down to the end of my bra. Now I'm gonna show you the back of my hair. Okay guys, so I told you it was gonna be a very quick, very general length check. So nothing too crazy, nothing too, like I'm not whipping out no tape measure or anything because my goal's not one inches, it's not three inches. It's not even 12 inches, it's 24. So really, 
Like I said, that's so much hair that it'll speak for itself on December 31st. So now that my length check is complete, I'm gonna go right into putting my Shea Bay braids back in. And I'm just so excited, guys. And really quick, um, I want to wish you all Godspeed, the best of luck on this hair growth challenge. I hope we all achieve amazing things. And remember, success is relative, right? We can't always look at someone else and compare our success to theirs. We have to own our own success. So if you've never been on a hair growth challenge before or a hair growth journey, and you start one and you successfully complete the year and you learn a lot about your hair, about yourself, then that's your success. So let's remember during this challenge to not compare our successes to other people's. It's relative, relative to ourselves. And I just wanted to say really quick, um, I've had some people emailing me and messaging me asking me if I sell the powder only on my website. And I do. I apologize if you can't find it easily, but I promise you that when you go to the page and you click where to, to order the Shea Bay, if you click on the little arrow drop box, a whole bunch of options will pop down for you. You can find the premix, you can find the powder only, you can find the 16 ounce, ounce and the special I have with the 16 ounce, it's ounces, it's all right there. $12.50 for a four ounce uh, jar of Shea Bay powder, $16.50 for a four ounce jar of premix, and $49 for a jar, 16 ounce, a pound of Shea Bay. That's amazing, right? Or I have a special where you can get two of, of the 16 ounce jars for an even a more amazing price. So if you're interested, check it out. All right, guys, that is it. Day one, guys. Fist bump me. Come on, that's right. Fist bump me. Day one, guys. Ready, set, grow.